Hey, good evening. How's everybody doing? This is Jason Thrift Trader. You guys doing all right tonight? I uh, went to thrift store today, found uh, three, or went to three thrift stores and uh, found a few items. And I just wanted to share with you guys what I got. Uh, let's take a look here. So this is a, uh, I went to save you more. It's a thrift store and more. I paid $2 for these. And uh, I've been trying to kind of pick items that are like around $50 or better in resale value, or at least kind of try and find a way to make it a $50 plus sale on eBay. And I'll explain that here in a minute. And uh, anyways, I paid $2 for these. Uh, it's a pair of, Men's AG, I guess it's Adriano Goldschmied, Deluxe Khaki. I don't know if you can see that. Um, beige in color. These will probably go for about 45 Nice. Getting by said first. First one comments. Nice to have you getting by. So, yeah. Uh, men's pants. These should go for $40, $45. I paid 2 bucks for them. How's everybody's sales been the past uh, few weeks? Is, it, is everybody doing free returns? <laughs> okay, so I bought this at Goodwill. Um, our Goodwill, the pants, men's and women's pants, are $5 um, regular price. And then um, the men's jeans are $8. I'd be interested to know uh, what the pricing on y'all's thrift stores is. So, um, actually, I'll save that one for later. So, these are like, I think they're called bon Bonobos. Let me move this so that you can see. That's the... Uh, that's the tag. And um, I actually bought three pair of khakis. There's this gray one. Here's a red one. And here's kind of a beige one right here. Um, they're all three the same size. And I plan on lotting those up. And um, when you lot up clothing, I've come to realize I actually sold a, a lot of Zanella men's dress pants uh, yesterday. For $160, a lot of four. And I paid $5 each. Trey Graham asked, when were you at Save You More? I dropped in this afternoon. Okay. Uh, I was there probably two and a half hours, two hours ago. Two and a half hours ago. Um, just looked around in the shoes and the men's pants is all I did. Um, didn't find, uh, well, I found, actually I looked in the electronics too, and I picked, I picked up something that I'm going to be showing you guys also, but, uh, so I'm going to sell these, this lot of three for $60 and my total cost is 15. So when you're lotting up clothing, um, it's, it, it gives you an opportunity to make more money in the long run because you're you're selling three pair of pants in one listing you've got one set of ebay fees of course would be about the same except for ebay also charges fees on shipping so you're probably saving you know a lot of three pants you're probably saving 14 dollars um shipping charges uh, which ebay would put uh put their fees on so you're saving ebay fees and you're also going to get a higher dollar amount for that lot versus, you know, selling one of them. And it's just, it's, you're going to sell, uh, you're probably going to sell a lot quicker because it's less competition also. So I think I'm going to start experimenting more with lots. Like I said, I, I sold a pair, uh, a lot of four Zanella pants 
paid twenty dollars for them, and they sold within one day on eBay for a hundred and sixty dollars. So, uh, Trey said, uh, "Must have uh, just missed you, Dan. So you found stuff I passed over. I did. I found two items. Um, I don't know if you saw them, but uh, these." These Adriano Goldschmied uh, pants in the men's pants section I picked up there, and I also picked up one electronic, which I'll show you. Um, getting by says, terrible sales until this weekend. Now they are good. That's good. That's good. You know, the weird thing about eBay is it's really finicky. Like, I'll have really high sales one day and really low sales the next. I mean, I guess I've just come to realize that that's normal, although you wouldn't think it is. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so a lot of three pants, sixty dollars. Okay, so at another Goodwill, I went to three thrift stores: two Goodwills and a uh, a local thrift store. Uh, this is a men's Ryan Michael. Let me take this tag off. Which is a Western brand. There's men's and women's in this brand. And uh, this is only going to be $30 or $35, but the sell-through rate is tremendous. I mean, I should be able to get rid of this pretty quick. And uh, this is the brand. Um, this is a Silk Blend Western shirt. And here's the, here's the buttons. There are metal buttons on it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but uh, this will be $30, $35, pretty easy, quick flip. Okay, so I bought um, like six, five or six pair of Zanella dress clacks, um, and my what I plan on doing is lotting these. If I don't have the same sizes to lot them up in two or three or four pair, I'll just hold on to them till I find more. So I'm going to be picking these up quite often. Um, Zanella Todd. And uh, I can tell by just the waist, the waistband there says Zanella. And like I said, I was... I'm uh, I'm thinking these lots are going to be the way to go for me. At least, you know, it'll be less competition, I think. So this is a, also a men's designer um, uh, brand in dress clothing, Canali. If any of you guys uh, have ever watched Steve Rakin back in the day when he was picking clothes, Canali was a brand that he picked up a lot. And... This pair of pants I'll sell individually for um, between $40 and $50. Trey said eBay's been a bit slow. Random electronics moving, but clothing not selling much. Yeah. Okay. So Trey's been posting a lot on Poshmark. Are you making sales over there, buddy? Okay, so here's just another pair of Zanella pants. And these are uh, Zegna, Zegna slacks. I'll hold those for, uh, for the lot. Okay. Um, I'm going to sell this individually. Only because it's worth fifty dollars by itself. Um, maybe. Well, I don't think I don't think I'll get any more than that. This is a, a pair of men's Brioni Sport uh, black wool slacks. And uh, let me see if I can get this tag. That's a that's a brand to really watch out for. Um, Brioni. 
used to sell a lot better, but it's still got exceptional, exceptional resale value and, uh, and is worth quite a bit of money in men's neckties, men's dress shirts, and men's pants. Of course, the shirts, uh, Brioni also makes polos and some casual wear, which is also worth money. Um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, the pants, the pants are worth around 50. Um, I guess, I guess top end now and used is around 50. If you get a suit or something, you know, you're going to get, you're going to get a lot more for that. Oh, wow. Trey said he's had three sales on Poshmark in the past 24 hours. That's pretty awesome, dude. Oh, I got an offer. I'll check that here in a minute. Uh, here's the other pair of Brioni pants that I got. These are gray. And uh, this is not Brioni Sport, just Brioni. Ah, uh, come on. Not going to do it. Anyways, um, again, probably 50 bucks. Trey said, I picked up some new tags, Bill's khakis at a church garage sale right down the street from Save You More yesterday. Yes. Yes. He said, I think I remember you mentioned him mentioning them, which is why I picked them up. Absolutely. Have you looked at the uh, comps on that, Trey? I bet they're around 70, 80 bucks new, maybe more. It depends on the model a little bit. Poshmark seems good on weekends, not so much during the weekdays. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I I haven't really put a whole lot of of work into it yet, um, but I know that it has potential. It definitely has potential. So, I mean, shoot, if you sell anything on there, it's worth it, right? Uh, another pair of men's Zanella pants, and. Uh, a lot of a lot of this stuff that I picked up, as far as like the Zanella, um, I think I I made sure I tried to make sure that I had you know at least two or three pair that were the same size, um, enough for a couple of lots is what I did. Um, if I didn't, if I if I had a bunch of singles, I'd probably still buy them because later on down the road, looking for the that brand, I'm gonna find it and. Uh, and I'll just collect it until I have enough in the same size. Nice. Hunter, Trey said that the list price on those uh, Bill's khakis pants was 135 bucks. Thank you. Okay, so here's an example of another lot that I plan on doing. Uh, these are uh, Peter Millar, which is a golf brand that is um, uh, some some of some of this dude's stuff does very well, and some of it not so much. But these these are uh, khaki pants, and uh, they're both the same size, thirty six. Well, one of them's 36, the other one's 38. But when I was in the thrift store, I kind of put them together waist to waist, and they they I think they're gonna measure really close to the same. So I'm gonna lock these up. And I'm expecting this lot probably a $50 lot. Lots of pants today, guys. Lots of pants. Uh Zanella, just another. Another pair of pants. And another pair of Zanellas right here.
Yeah. Trey, uh, yeah, you're right, man. You're right. Uh, once you get everything that you've got on eBay cross-posted, then you'll be able to compare. I know Chris, 10K on the Bay, does phenomenal numbers on Poshmark. I know that much. Of course, that guy's a beast and has oh, a bunch of listings up. Um, this is women's foot joy, dry joys, uh, pants. Um, these, I think, were around 40, 45. Uh, just Nike. These are uh, Nike golf dry fit pants. They're uh, white and gray pinstripe. And uh, those, these are probably a solid $30, $35 pretty quickly. Uh, okay. All right, so on to the good stuff, the good finds today. Now, these are uh, men's sketcher shape ups, men's uh, size 12, black. Uh, they're not the work sketcher shape ups, but uh, they're sketcher shape ups nonetheless. Not much use out of them, still in really good condition. And, uh, I picked these up for five bucks and these should sell 45, 50 bucks. Pretty easy. Yeah. Trey said, looks like a solid pants hole. Yeah, man. I picked up a bunch of pants today. Picked up a bunch. Uh, okay. So the other pair of shoes that I picked up today, um, these are Alan Ed. Uh, black bicycle toe split bicycle toe um, they've got the rubber sole and um, it's a vibram rubber sole and the style these are size 10d they're not um, they're not like the higher end ones but these are a solid 40 50 bucks pretty easy Okay. Now this I thought was really cool. Um, and I wish. So there used to be some type of crescent right here on this collar. There's a couple of holes here, like a crest or something was there. Um, but this is the men's vintage uh, Marine Corps shirt. And I looked on eBay at very, 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 well, the exact same item. I was going to say very similar. There's a lot of different styles of this Marine shirt uh, from, from the Vietnam era. I don't know if this is, this is definitely from the Vietnam era, but I don't know if it was worn by a, Vietnam, a soldier in the Vietnam War. But um, it's a U.S. Marine Corps. I don't know if you can see it. It's very faintly stamped there, USMC. And uh, there's actually a uh, faint stamp there, the name. It says uh, A.J. Hurst, I think. At least that's what I see, A.J. Hurst. Um it's got like the, the hidden buttons right here. There's no tags or anything on it. But um, I picked this up at uh, the Goodwill. And um, it's really just an interesting piece, you know. I mean, iconically, you know, what, what if this shirt could talk? What would I have to say, you know? And now... Uh, I think I, I saw one sell for around 50 and then another one for around 80. So I don't know. It's really interesting though. It's not every day you come across stuff like this. 
Okay. So I've got, this was my best find of the day. All right. And I'm going to show you. All right. So this is a Kenwood stereographic equalizer. 1070KE. And uh, I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying here, guys. Anyways, it's just a, a, a equalizer. And uh, I plugged it in to make sure that the display worked. The display did work. Um, and I've got to plug it up to some speakers and make sure that all of the all of the other components of it works. But uh, I, I bought that at Save You More. And uh, I gave $13 for it. Uh, yes, Kenwood. And uh, let, me, let me take a look at it. And I'll screen share and show you what I saw. Um, 1070KE. 1070KE. All right. Let me screen share real quick. Uh, we're going to screen share. All right. We're here. Okay, so I just typed in Kenwood 1070KE. Here, let's go to used. And these are the three right now. I've already looked at this one. Goodwill Seattle is selling this one. It's used for parts only. And it's still got two days, 20 hours left. And we're at $64. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this one is. It looks like two of what we have up here and then one closer. But um, this is the one that we we have, and they're asking $270 plus, you know, they're asking $300 for this one. And when I saw this on my, okay, yeah, six watchers. Of course, I'm one of those watchers. <laughs> uh, but we'll look at completed. So the the cheapest one available right now that's wor in working condition is three hundred dollars. Um, this one sold for one thirty on May twenty first. That's the same one when it didn't sell at one eighty. This one sold for. $285 on April 25th. So I'm hoping to get a score on this one. Uh, I'll, I'll probably, since the cheapest one available currently is 300, I'll probably price it like two, 259 and just try to quick sell it. So um, let's look at that Marine Corps shirt. Let's find the right one here. Okay, so if you remember on mine, the buttons were hidden. So we're looking for hidden buttons. Here's one. So 72. This one looks pretty much just like mine. You can see the stamp there see but with this one there's not a, a, a name stamp here's the stamp that's interesting so yeah uh, $72 there 
Of course, there's a bunch of these. There's some of them that are worth a lot of money. I saw one sell for. Let's look. Highest price plus shipping. Uh, we can't count these. We don't know what they sold for. Well, honestly, what I've noticed, uh, they had to have sold for more than $180. What I've noticed is when you sort by highest price plus, plus shipping, it still shows, even with best offers, it still ranks it with price. So we know for a fact that these two sold for more than $180. There's one. This is mine also, but this one sold for, you know, $142 because there's there's more to it. You know what? This might not be mine. Actually, yes, it is. It's exactly mine. And this says stall. So it has someone's name on it. Very well kept. Are those the same buttons? Yeah. Yeah, those are the same buttons. Let's look at a couple other pictures real quick. That's a terrible photo. Kessler? That looks like it's on the tail. Okay, yeah, there's nothing on the tail of mine. Is that it? That's an inner pocket. Oh no. Yeah. Mine has the same pocket with uh, with the button enclosure. That's cool. See, well, this is very, like, yeah, this is definitely very well kept because you can still read that. On mine, I can't, I can't read the stamp anymore, so I don't even know what size it is. That's pretty neat. Yeah, so this sold for a hundred and hundred and ten dollars. Wait a second. No, I take that back. Hundred and forty-two. So yeah, it's the P fifty six model. Um, oh, that's what this shirt had that mine didn't. Well, that's strange. Look. Okay, so if you if you look on the collars. On this one, there's not uh, there the the crests are not on there, but on this photo there is. Well, where the heck is that photo? That's really strange. This photo is not even okay. Now I'm completely lost because what I'm doing is I'm looking at. A, a photo here that is not showing up in the gallery. I don't know if that's one of eBay's new tricks or what, but that picture that we're looking at is not what we're seeing when we click on the item. I mean, it's the same shirt, same style shirt, same era, same everything, but it's not the exact same item that we were looking at. And it's nowhere in, in here. That's strange. Okay. Um, hang on. Let me get off of screen share here. Okay. So anyways, that's really weird. Really weird. Anyways, this shirt, cool. So that's what I picked up today. Um, out of everything I bought, I think the Marine Corps shirt and the Allen Edmonds shoes and those Skechers will pay for everything. 
everything else will be purely profit. So, um, but uh, so Jessica and I are going to be going to eBay Open this year, and I'm kind of interested to see what it's all about. I've never been to Vegas. Uh, so if any of you guys are going to eBay open, uh, holler at me, shout at me. Uh, I'd like to see you guys meet you. Um, really, I'm just going to kind of, you know, mingle with other like-minded individuals and try to pick up some, some, some good knowledge. Um, I just recently started, um, not drop shipping, but started purchasing a, an item for uh, for for resale at a considerable lower price than what is currently available on eBay. Um, and so I'm hoping that uh, that continues. Uh, we're getting about a sale a day off of it and it's not a lot of money it really isn't guys i mean it's a couple of dollars in our pocket every sale so but it's a start to something new and um i kind of want to roll with this and say that um if you start selling clothing on ebay if you started selling clothing on ebay um and are interested in getting into something different um <clears throat> Really, all you got to do is start. Uh, I know that clothing slows down in the summer, and your best option is to supplement the extra sales in a different category. Start in electronics, for instance. Um, I know that it's kind of it kind of gets overwhelming when you go to a different area of the thrift store that you're not familiar with, and you're just staring at stuff like what's worth money and what's not. Well. The thing is, is like, <clears throat> just pull out your phone and start looking stuff up. I mean, nobody's going to judge you. I mean, shoot, even if they do, it's not like you're ever going to see them again. I mean, you do you in the thrift store. I mean, if anybody, shoot, I've actually went through the bras before, and I'm not ashamed of that. Um, I don't do it often, <laughs> but, uh, but I've been known to do it. And the thing is, is like, go out to uh, yard sales, garage sales, and just look at the stuff that's out there. Don't pass one up. Um, yesterday, I was out busy doing other things and passed probably 40 garage sales and didn't stop at a single one of them. Um, you can find some really good stuff at a garage sale. But one of my big things right now as far as like where I'm wanting to take my eBay business is I want to start getting close to an, an average a $50 average sale price and uh, well that's going to mean essentially that I'm not going to be buying as many items um, and I might I may not have as many listings up as like some of these clothing resellers have 2,000 3,000 active listings uh, even more than that. Um, but in my opinion, um, it would be just as much money, if not more money and less work. And let's face it, like all of us enjoy the thrifting part. Like all of us enjoy the search for, you know, a hundred dollar bill under a rock. And so... It's, uh, it's, I mean, if that's what we enjoy doing, then we might as well spend the majority of our time doing that and less time listing the stuff. And you can still do clothing, but be more like particular with what you're buying as far as the brands. I mean, I understand that demographics play a big role in what's available. And, um, you know, I would say to that, like adapt to your surroundings, like find a way to get a hold of, of things that are worth some money. Like 
Yard sales are everywhere. I mean, you never know what you're going to stumble across in a yard sale. In uh, the Thrift or Reseller World uh, Facebook page, which is Casey Paris's big group, there was a guy that posted a picture of a wooden duck. Um, it was a wooden duck decoy that he had picked up at a local thrift store um, only purely on its weirdness of value. I mean, he just thought it was kind of interesting, so he picked it up. Well, come to find out, um, he's actually sending that duck to an appraiser and an auction house that specializes in that kind of stuff. And there, the appraiser said that it looks very, very similar to a decoy that went on auction and sold recently for $170,000. I mean, you really have no idea what you're going to find in a thrift store, regardless of where you're from. Um, but, and, and yard sales too. Um, I just urge everyone to kind of, you know, try and pay more attention to what you buy. I wish that I wish there was, well, there's a few things today that I wish that I didn't have to pick up. Um, really the only ones that I really wanted to pick up were the Brioni pants the Allen Edmonds shoes, the Skechers, and the Adriano Goldschmied uh, pants. And, of course, the stereo receiver and this U.S. Marine Corps shirt. Everything else, like the Zanella pants and stuff, I'd rather not even mess with that. But it's going to be good money. It's just, um, you know, as far as, like, some of these pants I'm going to have to sit on until I find the same sizes. Because I'm just I'm done selling uh, those pants in singles um, because I know I can get more money quicker in in a lot. But um, like yesterday, I guess it was. I went to well, it wasn't yesterday. It was the day before yesterday. I went to Goodwill and found two pair of Alden dress shoes. Let me get those real quick. I want to show you. Okay, so this is all I picked up two days ago. This, well, this and another pair of Skechers, Men's Shape Up, Skecher Shape Up Work Shoes, which should sell for $80. Um, so, yeah, these are the Aldens that I picked up. And I don't know if you can, you're probably not going to be able to see. No, you're not going to be able to see the uh, stamp on the inside only because it's worn pretty well. But um, here's the black pair. That was a like a burgundy color. And here's the black pair. Cap toe. See, with shoes, if it's got a line across here, like a stitching across here, this is called cap toe. It's the same with these as well. But um, I've got them currently listed for 150 for the black ones. And... 170 I think for the burgundy and I paid $16 see Trey said uh, enjoy eBay open we need to get out there one of these days yeah uh, I mean I've never been I'll gladly tell you how it was so uh, $50 would be solid you're an inspiration my friend Trey thank you very much man uh, it's it's more fun that way. And this is kind of really where I want to get to. Like, I got to be okay. I have to be okay with coming home empty handed um, from two or three thrift stores. I mean, it's going to happen if I'm looking for $50 plus items. It's going to happen. Uh, but I, uh, the days that I bring home four, five, six, seven items that are worth $50. I mean, think about it this way. <clears throat> what 
Would you be razzed about shipping that day more than you are now? I mean, who the heck wants to take the time to ship out a $5 profit item? I mean, sure, it's profit, and you have to do it. I mean, we all do it. But, I mean, dang, I'd be more razzed about shipping out a $35 profit item. Uh, Trey said, uh, Jason, are you back to taking your photos yourself, or have you hired? Um, I'm taking pictures myself right now. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to have to hire out, only because... I'm focusing on higher dollar items. Um, I, I really want to, I want to keep my shoe game going. Something that a lot of you YouTubers don't know is um, I started uh, really picking up shoes lately and I've been buying shoes bulk. Well, not bulk, but 20, 30, 40 pair at a time at the, at the bins here. Um, they're not, you know, they're, they're $25, $30 items is what they are. Um, some of them are worth a lot more, but for the most part, they're $20, $25, $30 items. So, but our bins price on shoes is $2 a piece. So, um, I have found some very good stuff in there. I've found uh, two uh, Hermes ties. Uh, neckties. I sold both. I found them both the bottom of a bin. They were a dollar a piece. They looked like in pristine condition, believe it or not, being in the bottom of a bin. And uh, sold them for both of them for ninety dollars a piece. And I found a uh, vintage seventies Gucci purse. I'm still in the middle of getting that authenticated. Um. So I don't know if it's authentic. If it's not, then I'm just going to redonate it. Um, found a pair of true authentic men's Gucci loafers. I actually have those up for sale right now. And uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, I, I, one of the weirdest things. Okay, look at this. Hang on. Okay, so when I bought this, um, I didn't know that we weren't, I wasn't going to be able to sell this on eBay because some of them have been sold, but you can't. Uh, it's against eBay uh, policy terms and conditions. Uh, this is what it looks like. It says ResMed on the front. Can anybody guess what this is? Okay. It's a CPAP machine. That's the handle. But um, it's, a, it's a CPAP machine. And it's got everything with it. This uh, this CPAP machine, the solds on eBay are over two hundred dollars, but I can't sell this on eBay because for some reason the masks for these things require a prescription, I think, and they just simply don't allow the sale of it. It's a medical equipment device. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna have to sell this locally. I actually got in contact with somebody that buys these. And I uh, should be hearing from them tomorrow. Pay two dollars for this. Two bucks. But really, I think the the most difficult thing of this business is the listing part. And if you get into a groove of only buying items that have, you know, decent resale value, well, then you're going to make more money with less work. I don't, I don't consider thrift storing work. I mean, I don't at all. I enjoy the heck out of it. So, um, 
so to answer your question, Trey, I'm probably not going to. Um, I might for the shoes, but it's not going to be anything permanent. Um, it's really strange when you get to where like you start saving money for like trips and uh, things going on in your life and you spend less frugally or well, that's not the word. If you become more frugal with your money, I, th I think that's right. <laughs> um, you start picking up better stuff because you, you don't have the option to just go and buy 200 items at $5 a piece and hope they sell or hope they sell for, you know, decent money. Um, but, uh, sorry, my big black dog's going crazy. Anyways, guys, um, that's really it. That's all I've got for today. Um, sorry to keep it kind of long, but, uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. And uh, if there's anything that you guys uh, want to see uh, from me, I'd be more than happy to cover it. Um, we're on uh, Facebook. It's uh, eBay Sellers Anonymous. Um, I'll put the link in the description. It's not there right now, but I will. And um, I'm Thrift Trader on Instagram. And also here, if you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe. And uh, I hope that I can be of uh, good knowledge to you guys. Really, that's what I'm doing this for is to help every single one of you guys and rese uh, as resellers figure out what's worth money and, you know, kind of seize that opportunity. I mean, at the end of the day, the more you have up here, the more this you're going to have in the reselling business. So until next time, guys, keep on picking that trash and making that cash. You guys have a good night.